Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, I do so much videos pertaining to this topic. You know, it's just driving me nuts. But you got to because people are just... Satan has developed a great addiction towards people, you know, of the world, you know. It's, and the topic of this message is, you know, it's, you know... The reality of the uh, the te the temporal contest. I mean, the temporal uh, uh, the, the temporal games and forever games. Temporal games and forever games. Um, the thing is, it's a game. It's all about playing something to win something. You know, the the whole objective of the the, the people that are the players of the game game is trying to win. You know what I'm saying? Who is trying to win a game? But you need players to play a game to see if one can win. Now, the thing is, uh, and I'm watching now, there's the earthly uh, game and there's the heavenly game. And I'm watching people you know, go uh, when I walk around and uh, everywhere, I see them how they play their games to try to pretty much win their temporal prizes. You know, but I I don't think that they do not. They're not trying to register the idea of whatever prize that they're trying to win is temporal. I don't think it registered to certain people yet because how they treat it is like it's this forever thing, you know. Um, it's quite, it's, it's as much as I see people do it, I see how deceptive Satan is to more likely, I say, you know, develop a desire of the earth and people and. That's how you make fools. <laughs> That's all you got to make fools is you got to develop a desire of the earth. Anybody can, I uh, guess the song says by Aaron Neville, play the fool. Um, it's The thing is, look, yes. And you know, like when they, people say, you just playing games, you know. Uh, that is what certain people just is. See, God taught me about the jest. And there's the more. But when you play heaven games, yes, you're trying to play to win something. But in this uh, game, people playing to supposed to be supposed to be playing together. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to be playing together. They're not supposed to be really individuals, but they're supposed to be playing together. You know, in the heaven game. But in the earth game, it's individuals. It's just individuals who can make the most money. Who can uh, drive the fanciest cars? Who can be with all guys? Be with all the girl, how many girls and ladies? How many guys? It's, it's this game. Who can have much more of the earth and be considered as this great person and stuff in the earth? You know what I'm saying? It's this game. Who can accomplish and achieve this education and all that, whatever? Who can do it the best? In this game, I watch people play that, and and of course the world system is de designed for you know uh, so people can play the game and how it's structured and getting uh, hiring people and who's the better uh, secretary or salesman or whatever position you know we're gonna get the better person the best person for the job or something like that is to help you keep you in the ideal of the game. And and it's just, you know, you're going to win temporal prizes. And a lot of people uh, get t disappointed, you know, by situations happening that you got laid off or you got fired or something happened concerning you, you know, in job or at school, you know, or at anything or sports or whatever something happened and you are really out of the game of the earthly game that you're not playing 
not in a position to play the game, to win. And the thing is, you get very disappointed, and you get some get miserable and do bad stuff that will get mess up their life and mess up other people's life around them. Um, it's 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 not. And, but the thing is about this game that you must understand that this message is all about is that it is temporal. It's of a temporal substance that is here today, going tomorrow. The thing is that we you have to realize that. See, because I tell people there's a difference between knowing something and realizing something. Knowing something is is that ideal of the mindset just oh just a job just a car just this just this I'm just living da 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 mundane mindset but realizing something is more uh, than what you see that it truly has significance is what you know is is the thing you have to see and the thing is the problem is the world really doesn't have a lot of significance because it's temporal. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have really substance that are guaranteed to have every day. It doesn't have significance that you need to understand about this earthly game, this temporal game. It, these things really don't have true significance because if you can take them, like, like what Jesus said, if you can get... A camp, uh, uh, your things through an eye of a needle it doesn't really you can't take it to heaven or it really doesn't have significance it's what he's trying to hope that you realize but in this forever game this has significance because it's a forever game it lasts beyond the earth the bible says heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of God will stay the same but the thing is this ideal has more significance because it's a forever ideal. It's a forever it's established a forever existence. And the thing is about playing that heaven games um, the for, yeah, the forever games, sorry, kind of the forever games, this one has significance. This one can promise something a forever mansion, not a temporal mansion that can burn up that can be repossessed. I mean, well, not repossessed. Uh, uh, foreclosed. You don't have enough money to pay for it. You know, it's, it can pass away, as what Jesus was saying about the uh, uh, Matthew six and nineteen and twenty, I think, or twenty twenty one. Uh, talks about you know um, that you need to understand that this doesn't have carry enough significance. This world. But guess what? The world system through me, the through uh, TV, radio, and everything else is going to advertise the ideal of the significance of this earth. And as much as you buy into that, as much as you're gonna find, you're gonna put too much on playing the earth game, the earth games, and less uh, emphasis on playing the heaven games. And that's what really Satan's agenda is all about doing, making sure that this earth, you see so much significance in so much, so much significance in this earth. And 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 ignore the idea of a forever place that will exist longer than you can ever exist. You know, um we must see, we must realize, or we must realize that idea that this is a forever standard that will, that lasts forever and it's a wonderful bliss. But guess what? There's another place that has a, is a forever and that place called is hell. And hell does exist and it has a forever existence in that, that you are tormented and you are horrible, horrible, this. A horrible place to be, the one of the most worst place ever existed. Period in the earth and in the spiritual realm. But the thing is, we gotta understand these places exist. You know what I'm saying? But of course, your 
world, wicked world system is going to tell you, ah, nah, just go indulge in this uh, temporal earth, you know, treasures and all uh, here. Ah, that forever stuff, ah, it doesn't exist. But in fall for that fall, for that trick, for playing a game that you see, because here's the thing in the for the temporal game, you really win to lose. You win something that you're going to eventually lose. But in the forever game, that you will well, ask what Jesus say, you lose this life of this natural world and you win something that you will win. See, you will win something that you win because you win something that will last forever. And ever and ever and ever and ever is the idea of the thing. So I hope you got the message about the game, you know what I'm saying? About the temporal games and the forever games. And you select to play the right games that you win and win and not win something to lose something. That's the message. God be glory and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.